It's time to do a little artwork. Have you ever been in the deep forest at midnight on a spooky clearing? And I mean, the deep forest. <laughs> if not, okay, if yes, as well. What I like to do in this video is I like to paint a picture of the deep forest of a clearing at midnight, but with a special effect, which glows at night, very spooky. And if you are interested how to do that DIY style at home with some spray cans and some acrylic colors, stay tuned. And I like to show you step-by-step step how I paint this picture. And I linked you all the stuff and material and the colors I used underneath the video in the video description if you want to order it yourself. So feel free to use these links. And yeah, you can follow me and then you can do your own picture if you like. So let's start. The first step was very simple. I like to paint on a piece of MDF because I use spray cans. And when painting on MDF, you can see it here, it's a good idea to primer the MDF because it soaks the color like a camel water in the desert. And I don't want to waste any color. So I used the primer, the Montana primer. I applied three layers of the Montana primer. I used the white one. It's an uni primer. And then I did a light sanding and now I have a perfect surface and a perfect canvas for my picture. You can paint, of course, also on a canvas on a piece of paper, but it's not so ideal because the paper soaks also the color and the lacquer. And I recommend to paint on a piece of MDF or if you have a canvas to primer the canvas as well. That was the first step. And the next step is the special step, the application of the night glow color. And I will use also a color produced by Montana it's called Night Glow. It's available in two colors, in green, also in orange, if you like orange more, or if you want to paint a pumpkin for Halloween or something like that. So you can choose from orange or from green. I will use green because I like to paint the forest and that matches better than the orange. And I will change to the paint booth because that's real lucky and I recommend to go outside to change to your garage or wherever. Don't paint in closed rooms. That's not so ideal because it stinks like hell and it's not healthy. So yeah, Paint outside or in your garage or on a spot where you can paint with spray cans. And yeah, I will change to the paint booth and then I like to show you how to apply this color. It's very important to shake the can very well before you start spraying to mix the color. The color must be mixed perfectly. If not, you won't get this effect. So I recommend to shake the can one or two minutes, okay? And don't forget to wear a spray mask for your safety and then you can start spraying. What I will do is I will apply three coats of the night glow on this MDF plate. I laid it down so it's much easier to apply a big coat. And yeah, do the first one, let it dry. Do the second one, let it dry. And then do the third one. Okay, let's start. I'm back from the paint booth and maybe you ask yourself what happened and what's the difference the panel looks like before. Yes, it looks like before, but check this. The lights out. <laughs> check this, the panel glows in the dark. That's so freaking cool. Yeah, the preparation is done, the glowing color is on. And now let's paint the spooky forest. I have to mix some colors to create a 3D effect in the picture and I will start with the trees in the background which are far away and they will be light gray and to mix the light gray I use the Createx black, opaque, also white, opaque and a little bit of green. The color is light green, also opaque and I add this green because the Montana Night Glow appears also a little bit greenish, not much, but to match the gray I add also a drop of green or maybe two, so let's do it.
And that's the first set of trees on the background, light gray. And what I will do now is I will change again to the paint boost and I will apply another layer of the night glow effect over all the trees in the background. So they get a light glow effect, not so much like the background itself, but a little bit glowing. And when I've done that, I will paint the next layer of the trees. Yeah, check this. That's the effect after I added another layer of the Montana night glow. All the trees are also glowing, not so much like the background, so you can see them as a silhouette. And yeah, what I will do now is I will add another layer of the trees. Last step is painting black. What I will do is I will paint a spooky deer in the middle of the picture and I already started to paint it with a pencil and around the deer I will add some massive trees to give my picture a kind of frame and for the trees I used the Createx black opaque. So let's do it. And here it is, the finished painting of the spooky deer in the deep forest. So, lights out and check this. So if you think that is cool and if you want to do it yourself, find all the stuff and material underneath the video in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out some other videos if you're interested in custom painting and see you in one of my next videos. Goodbye.